Greetings, everyone. I am Chief Oluwo Obafemi Fayemi, and thank you for allowing me to speak during this time. So I greet you all uh, that are participating in the Juicy and Strong Immunity Beauty Boot Camp. <laughs> beautiful name, beautiful concept. So uh, most people know me as Baba Femi. And just to give you a little brief history of my background, I am a priest in the system of Ifa. So the question is, well, what is Ifa? Ifa is the natural order of things, it's universal truth. It is the, uh, it's the way nature explains itself to us. Ifa originated around what is known today as the Nile Valley region. As much as the colonists, as much as the slave traders and slave masters wrote in history that Africa had no spirituality, that Africa had no spiritual system, totally untrue, it is as old as one can imagine. Because what always amazes me is they often say that, but yet everyone goes to these magnificent universities to study one particular country in this world, and that is Egypt, which happens to be in North Africa. And so with that being said, this is where Ifa was born. Ifa was born in and around the Nile Valley region, which is present-day Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and those places. As it migrated to the west, uh, and it began to flourish as well with the cultural traditions of the West African people, most notably the Yoruba. It was then, uh, as the slave trading years came, it was taken into what we now know as South America, predominantly Brazil, and also into the Caribbean, predominantly Cuba. It is a growing phenomenon in America. I have been a priest for over 16 years. What is my duties as a priest? My, my duties are simply based upon my tenets. My tenet as a priest is to uh, stay in the middle, operate from a place of equilibrium, to look equally to both sides. Uh, we are designed or we are taught, uh, we are built to be able to see most things unseen to others, as well as our second law, we cannot stay in judgment. Because when one is in judgment, they can't see through equilibrium. My role as a priest is often uh, most notably for consultations or readings. Most people know me as a, a person who does a lot of readings, predominantly uh, majority by the phone or these days Skype. Um, the readings, the consultation, not only tell me where you are in the moment, but with the help of your ancestors, your spirit guides, uh, the Most High, uh, we also speak about the place you're coming from and where you're going. This brings the balance to a consultation. Why Ifa? Ifa is for everyone. Everyone is born with a certain oracle that explains their destiny. The oracles give us an indication not only of um, the information in the moment, but also our personality, our characteristics, and our attributes that actually line up with those beautiful forces of nature. Yes, our personality, our characteristics, our attributes as a person can be explained through rivers, lakes, trees. It can be explained through different areas of the forest, different aspects of weather, uh, also different aspects of numbers and planets as we know of astrology and numerology. The system of Ifa is a very uh, beautiful system because it speaks to the wisdom of nature, as I said earlier, the natural order of things. I have uh, done readings, I have initiated, done ceremonies and rituals for people of all shapes, sizes, colors, gifts, capacities, and so on and so on. One of the most beautiful things about Ifa is its ritual aspect. <laughs> and how can we be spiritual if we're not doing ritual? meaning spy ritual. Spy means to breathe, to coil, to exist. Ritual, the ability to change or redirect energy. This is, the, this is, the, this is the, the promise that the Most High made with us, that we're able to change 
certain things in our lives, uh, we have to be very strong and have a lot of wisdom and courage to make those changes. Uh, so one of the things that we're, we're going to do here, and it's very, very important, and again, thank you so much for allowing me to speak. So one of the most simple rituals for both peace and protection, peace and protection, I think we're all looking for that, especially during the times that we're in, uh, when we're trying to build our immune system to fight off various illnesses, disease, and most notably, uh, those things that they're trying to also put in our head to believe that we know not to be true. So we want to protect the head, we want to protect the body, and the best way to do that is to strengthen our spirit. So here's a simple ritual. This is a coconut. <laughs> what you would do is you take the coconut, and you can actually place it in a bowl like this if you want, or you can hold it to yourself like this. You're going to pray for both peace and protection. Why? Most of our peace of mind and most of our protection comes through how we communicate or sometimes how we don't communicate. Secrets are sacred. Some of, my, some of, my, some of our most inner strength and courage lies within our ability to, uh, before we share with others, is to define it for ourselves. And so the coconut represents that. I was once asked a question by a very smart elder, an old elder in the continent of West, uh, in the country of Nigeria in West Africa. He was one of my teachers. And he asked me, he said, Obafemi, do you know how the water got into the coconut? And I'm a pretty smart brother. So I start speaking about how the pressure and the humidity from the climate and the weather and the tropics puts pressure on the coconut and the humidity and the sweat from inside of the coconut. It produces the water, it produces the milk, and that's how we got there. And he laughed, they all laughed, and they spoke in their beautiful language, and then the translator said to me, Baba Femi, how the water got in the coconut is the coconut's business. And this is what's important during these times of peace and protection. So, what you will do with the coconut you can, dip, you can take the coconut and you can break it in half. You will bound it to the ground on a sharp object and you come up and you have a, two halves. Whatever water is left, you can pour it in the cup. Or if you decide not to break the coconut, you can actually punch the holes and just try to get as much of the contents, the water that's in there. As you see, you might can't see on the camera, but I have water. You would take it and you would hold it with your two middle fingers. And you would simply take it one, two, and three. Pray into the water some more for peace and for protection. You would then take the water, just like you would do perfume. You can even, if you wish, to drink a little bit. That is also promising as well. This has been my uh, time with you. I definitely, definitely appreciate you guys for listening. Thank you, my sister Savina, for giving me the opportunity. Uh, I hope to see you guys wherever you are. I travel throughout the world. You're more than welcome to visit me on my website as you see below. So thank you, thank you, and as we say in the West African tradition of the Yoruba people, Ashe.